Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kat Meffin for those of you that are new here and hey and welcome to those of you that are coming back for another flow with me. So today we're gonna to be doing a vinyasa. We're gonna start standing up. So I, we're gonna get straight on into this. Please make sure before we get started that you've got any props that you might need next to you, blocks, straps, bolsters, blankets, etc. cetera. Um, and as always, just listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, just take a moment, reassess, take child's pose whenever you need it, etc. Okay, coming to stand near the top of the mat. We're gonna start in a little standing meditation. So feet can be together, they can be fit, uh, hip width apart if that feels better. Hands down by the side of you. Draw up through the chest, through the lower belly. Take a big shoulder roll back. Just settle into the breath. Feeling your feet connected to the mat. Feeling the crown of the head just lift as tall as possible up to the ceiling. Feel the body as it finds its balance. Giving a little, taking a little, finding that front and back and side to side tiny motions, movements, until you find that sweet spot of balance. Come to focus on the breath, the inhales, the exhales. And every time the mind wanders, just coming back to the breath. Every time the mind gets frustrated with just standing still, come back to the breath. Bring the hands together as you start to rub the hands, creating a little bit of warmth, a bit of friction. And then placing the hands over the eyes, feeling the vibrations, feel that energy. And as you draw the hands away from the eyes, begin to flutter the eyes open. Take a big inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you bend the knees, come to forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, stand tall all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length, option hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, lift the arms high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend knees, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands, step back to a high plank. Let's hold on here for a moment. Really push out through that space in the spine between the shoulder blades, really engaging the core. Remember to breathe, working into your, your ujjayi breath. Exhale, taking the knees down, keeping the elbows tucked in, lowering all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So our first downward facing dog of the practice, taking some pedaling through the feet if that feels good. Maybe a shake, a nod of the head. <sighs> So just staying here and recognizing, being aware of how the body feels. So as we start to energize, we start to warm up through our sun salutations, it's really important just to notice how the body feels. Be aware of what you need today. 
Bring the mind to the foundations, the hands, the feet. Really grounding down. On an inhale, step the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, take the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length, option hands to shins. Exhale, place the hands, either step or jump back, floating down either through Chaturanga or down to the knees again. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, finding that connection to the breath. Every inhale, every exhale. Really try to connect the mind to each one. Inhale, coming up onto the toes. Exhale, drawing the heels down. You can take a bend in the knees in your downward facing dog if that feels good. Inhale, coming up to the toes. Exhale, drawing the heels down. On your next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, hinge hips, bend knees, sweep the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, place the hands, step or jump back, lowering down through Chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, silent, smooth transition, warrior one, sweep those arms high. Exhale, frame the foot, step it all the way back, working down through your Chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, smooth, silent transition, warrior one on the left side, sweep those arms high. Exhale, frame the foot, take it all the way back, lowering down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnect to the breath. So noticing the pace of our flow, finding the fluidity within that, going quickly from one posture to the next. But even though it may feel quick, making your breath nice and long so that you're gliding there. On your next inhale, step or jump feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hinge the hips, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, stand tall. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, place the hands, step or jump back, lowering down through Chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one, sweep the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot, work it all the way back, coming down through your Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left side, come forward, warrior one, sweep those arms high. Exhale, frame the foot, take it all the way back, working down through your Chaturanga or down to the knees, inhaling upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just knowing that downward facing dog can be your time to reconnect. Let's sweep the right leg all the way up into the sky, open through the right hip, keeping that leg straight to begin with, staying strong in the shoulders and then if it feels good you can bend that top knee and open through the hips a little bit. If you're looking for a bit of a challenge here, you can see how it feels to see if you can take that right hand off as well and see if you can get the right hand to the right foot. This is quite tricky. Slowly release, reset. Sweep the left leg high. 
So keeping that left leg straight to begin with. Then if it feels good to you, you can bend that left leg. So we're getting a nice quad stretch, hip flexor stretch here as well. From here, if you want a bit of a challenge, see if you can take that left hand off and see if you can take hold of the left foot with the left hand. Oh, <laughs> see how well you do. And then release legs down. Breathing here. On your next inhale, step or jump, feet to the hands. Lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, Udkatasana. Holding here. So holding in your Udkatasana. Really squeezing the knees together, finding that inner line energy. Arms reaching high. If it feels nice, you can take the head up towards the hands. Holding, breathing. And stand tall, release those hands down. From here, really ground down through the left foot. Take the hands to the hips. Take a big step back with the right foot. You're gonna come to a high lunge. So take those arms up high. Open out for warrior two. So really come deep into your warrior two. From here, either you're going to take the elbow onto the left knee or you're going to take that left hand all the way down to the mat and sweep that right arm across, creating this diagonal line all the way from the right foot up to the right fingertips. See if you can pivot that baby finger inwards to rotate the shoulder. From here, sweep the right arm down. As you do so, you're gonna move all the way back to Skandasana on the right side. Open through the chest. Hmm. Holding here. We're gonna push all the way back, coming to find that side angle again. Take the hand down or the hat or the elbow on the knee. If it feels nice, find a bind. If you don't want a bind here, that is absolutely fine. If you are not in a bind, you're just gonna come from your side angle, straighten the leg and find Trikonasana, triangle pose. So it will look like this. And maybe you need to come all the way up and just balance here on the leg. If you are in a bind, you're gonna start to straighten that front leg so you're in a binded triangle. Breathing here. Stay with the breath. On an inhale, start to windmill the hands forwards. Frame the front foot, inhale either. You're gonna step this left foot back, work through a vinyasa, come back to downward facing dog and step in with the right foot or you are going to do a handstand and switch the legs. Now, this is my bad side, so we're gonna see how this goes. I think, hold on, I'm gonna kick up and switch over. <laughs> it's quite tricky when it's your bad side. If not, like I said, you're gonna work through a vinyasa and come back and we should all then have the right leg in front coming up to the high lunge. Lifting and then exhale, open out for warrior two. Come nice and deep into your warrior two. Staying with that Ujjayi breath. Options here, either taking the right elbow on the knee, coming into your side angle, or taking that right hand all the way down to the mat. And again, pivot that baby finger round, create space in the shoulders, in the neck.
wherever you are, you're going to start to drop that left hand down. As you bring the left hand around, you then shift the bottom back and come down to Skandasana on the left side. Lift the chest, hands to heart center. Use that left elbow against the left knee to find the opening. From here, power through the legs. You can use the hands if you need to, to come all the way back to your side angle. So from here, either you're going to take a bind or you'll just stay where you are, either up on the elbow or with the arm in the diagonal. And then moving through to our Trikonasana, so our triangle pose. If you're in a bind, you're just gonna to start to straighten that right leg. If you are not, you're going to take the left arm up into the sky, and if you need to, you'll lift the chest and take the right hand onto the shin. Remembering to breathe. On inhale, coming all the way back around, frame the foot, okay? And then either you're gonna work through a vinyasa coming down or you're gonna take a little kick to handstand from here and just see how that feels to pop yourself up into a handstand. Maybe try a couple of kicks, see how it feels today. Remember the breath. Those of you in handstand, come back down, work your way through, vinyasa, and we'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Reconnect to the breath. Start to walk the hands back to the feet. Just hang down here in a little rag doll. Take hold of opposite elbows. And when you're ready, start to peel the body all the way up to standing, bone by bone, head and neck come last. Okay, opening out, step forward with the left foot, open out for our Prasarita Padatanasanas. So you're gonna take the hands to the hips to begin with. Inhale, find length, really lift through the bandas, Mula Banda, Udiana Banda, so that pelvic floor and that space here between the belly button and the kind of nickel line, that space there, you're lifting all the way up. That's our Udiana, our lock. And when you're ready, hinging at the hips, coming forwards. Take the LD hands down, so the heel of the hand in line with the heel of the foot. Forward fold. Staying here. One more breath here. On an inhale, come lift the chest, come up to fingertips. Exhale, see if you can take the peace fingers around the big toes. If that is way too intense for you, you can take a bend at the knees and just place the hands down by the feet. If you can from here, take a nice inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, bend the elbows, let the elbows go out to the side as you come down into a forward fold. If you find that your head is touching the floor, just heel toe those feet in a little bit so that you've got some space to work with. On an inhale, come to the fingertips. Exhale, you're gonna forward fold again, taking the, hat, the heel of the hands back in line with the feet. Now, if you have a tripod headstand in your practice, by all means, take a tripod headstand. If you have a straddle lift to handstand, by all means, take that. If you do not wanna do either of these moves, that is fine, you're just gonna stay in the forward fold. Stay 
So those of you coming up to handstand, you can bring your legs together at the top. Hold two breaths. And then you're gonna start to straddle all the way back down. If you would like to transition through crow pose, you can by all means. When you get back down to the mat, just take a little inhale lift, heel toe the feet in again, and just take a little exhale, release the tension through the neck. Everybody meeting back here on an inhale, come to fingertips, exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, start to lift all the way up. Come to step to the top of the mat. Take a nice big inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, jump the feet back to high plank, holding here. Bring the right knee to the nose. Really rounding through the spine, really switching on that core. Take it all the way back, left knee to nose. Taking it all the way back, wave the body back to downward facing dog. Inhale, wave the body forwards again to high plank. Right knee to nose. And then drop that right knee down for pigeon. Hmm. So using any blocks or props that you need underneath your right bottom, finding your alignment here. You're gonna take your right hand to the outside of the right thigh, your left hand to the hip. Lift through the belly. So you're giving yourself a little nice self-adjust here. If you are not as open as this, then it might not feel very nice to be putting weight here. So just stay with where it feels good. Staying upright today in our pigeon. Let's take the fingertips back, lift through the chest. You can close off the eyes here. Okay, on an inhale, place those hands down in front of the foot, tuck under the back foot, lift the back knee, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Awesome, hold, breathe, and step it all the way back. Okay, so you're in your high plank, bring left knee to the nose. When you're ready, placing that left knee down, coming down for pigeon on the left side. Again, seeing if it feels good for a little self assist here. Right hand to the right hip, left hand opening out through the thigh. Really working with the breath, stay lifted in the body. So because we've got our body upright, the tendency can be just to kind of slump into the spine. You want to keep, stay switched on through the core, stay super lifted. And then walk the fingertips back and see if it feels nice to open through the chest. And then slowly releasing, place the hands down near the top of the mat, tuck under that right toe, lift the right knee, bring the left knee to the left elbow. Really push through the upper spine, release it back to high plank, work down through a vinyasa. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. 
When you're ready on an inhale, you are going to make your way down to seated. You can jump through, you can walk through, you can just gracefully glide your way there. Take the legs out long in front of you. Pop yourself up on a block if you know that you need it, if you know your hamstring's a little tight. Coming forward for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, find length. Exhale, find the forward fold. Spine nice and long. So if you know that you need a strap because you have the tendency to hunch, then find yourself a strap. Close off the eyes. On your inhale, coming to lift yourself all the way up. You're gonna shift the bottom forwards and slowly start to make your way down to the mat. So the knees are bent, arms out long, super slowly coming down to the mat. And when you get there, release. Just window wipe those knees side to side. Grab your block if you'd like to go for a uh, restorative variation of half bridge. If you are not grabbing a block, bring those knees in. As you inhale, tilt the pelvis, start to lift the lower spine, the middle spine off the mat, interlace the hands, just wiggle those arms down. Get as much lift as you can in the hips. Draw the knees together slightly, so they're not touching, but they've just got that feeling of drawing inwards, which will then in turn engage the glutes. If you're popping a block underneath your, underneath your sacrum, then you can just hang out there, eyes closed, for a while. When you're ready, slowly bringing yourself all the way back down to the mat. Just window wipe those knees side to side. Mm. Hug the knees into the chest. I'm gonna take a happy baby. So taking hold of the outside edges of the feet you're going to start to draw those knees down towards the armpits. And if it feels good, you can take a little rock here, rock side to side. Close the eyes. Just feel the opening through the groin, through the hip. Slowly begin to hug the knees into the chest. Again, just hug the knees together and maybe take a little rock side to side. And then coming down to your Shavasana. So you can take the legs out long straight. You can have the knees bent up but the feet to the outside edge of the mat and the knees dropping in together, or maybe you wanna take a Supta Baddha Konasana variation. So whichever feels good for you today. Palms of the hands facing upwards. Create space for the shoulder blades just to travel down the spine. 
eyes closed. Just taking a scan of the body from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head, noticing how the body feels. Just being aware of the breath, aware of the joints, aware of the muscles, aware of your emotions. Feel free to stay here for longer if you've got that time. The rest of you slowly bringing the mind back into the physical body, circling ankles and wrists, maybe wiggling the fingers and the toes. And in your own time, whenever you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, rolling over to one side, just pausing there for a moment. And then from there, just pushing your way all the way up to seated. Again, keep the eyes closed, bring the hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders back, lift tall through the crown of the head, feel the body connected to the mat. Let the breath just soften. Take a moment to dedicate your practice to somebody that you love, sending them your passion, your energy and your strength. Save a little bit for yourself as well. Always being kind to yourself. Namaste. Thank you all so much for flowing with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Um, as always, comment below. Let me know how you get on. And I will see you again soon for another yoga flow. Bye-bye.